I'm sure you really enjoyed all our recipes on social media and uh, now yet another different uh, recipe we're going to teach you. Now this recipe is savoury prawn pulao and let's see the ingredients and how we go and do it. Spirally, ginger garlic paste, cinnamon, star anise, bay leaf, cashew nut paste, capsicum, onion, paneer, butter, salt and prawns. So these are the ingredients required for it. In the pan, add a litre of water. And once it boils nicely, then add the pasta to it. And add a lot of olive oil also. This is macaroni uh, to cook it in the al dente state. Little bit of salt. This looks as if it hasn't cooked, but this is the correct stage to remove it. And while doing this, cool it in cold water. Have a jug of cold water, few more drops of olive oil. And it's ready. Now for this uh, particular recipe, it's going to be a little bit high on calories because I'm going to use uh, a good amount of butter for this to saute all the ingredients. Okay, so uh, because it's going to be really an exotic uh, pulao with all different uh, kinds of um, uh, ingredients into it. So what I'm going to do is I'll add the star anise, the cinnamon, a few bay leaves so that the flavors infuse into the butter nicely. paneer to it paneer is cottage cheese and uh, you could also add tofu if you want little bit of ginger garlic paste and once this is all done see generally um, uh, for any pulao we will be adding uh, fried cashew nuts to it instead for the uh, sauce part of it because we are using some pasta into it and macaroni in it I have made the cashew nuts into a very nice paste so that that will act as a sauce and it will bind the entire uh, pulao together and it will give a very nice creamy feeling more uh, uh, see actually now in this particular pulao you need a creamy feeling than a crispy feeling so I have uh, added I am going to add the paste instead of fried cashew nuts to it so while this is roasting we can add the remaining ingredients to it so a lovely aroma is coming around yellow capsicum red capsicum green onions also now because they're all really finely chopped it doesn't matter whether you add it first or second but only thing is the, the saving grace is it's all very finely chopped for this particular recipe and then we can toss in the prawns next we will add on the pasta stir it in gently now we have we are yet to add the cashew nut paste to it a huge load of cashew nut paste to it is. and the prawns are really looking yummy pink and uh, really beautiful and for spice I'll just add some red chili powder to it and we'll add some salt to it so now we can just serve it into this And I'm sure you really enjoyed all the recipes and do follow us on social media for more recipes so on. And uh, take care till we meet you again. See you. Bye.